Welcome back to Music Theory Logic. Andrew here, and today is another Making It From Scratch, where I attempt to make a beat that's pretty cool uh, live, but I have make no promises because, again, I am not faking this. I am just making it on the fly. So let's go ahead into the Logic session. So um, here we are. This is literally just a default. Uh, when you start a session in Logic, it gives you a beat of uh, standard uh, BPM of 120 beats per minute. Uh, let's do something... I don't know, 110. I'm going to try to keep this pretty concise. Um, let's write something. I've, I've, I write so much in minor keys. We could write something in a major key for once. So uh, what key should we write in? How about A major? A major is going to have three sharps. There are C sharp, F sharp, and G sharp. So let me get my own audio going here. Um so let's see here we could go with the one chord. The six chord. Let's see. Switch these two chords. that more going to the F sharp uh, so the chords we have here are a major C sharp minor that's uh, the minor three um, then we've got a D major that's a four chord an F sharp minor that is a minor six and then the five chord an E major cool uh, let's write a melody on top of that so first of all again the notes from the scale are this A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. So you'll notice that works. Thank you. 
cool. I think uh, that works. Now, articulation, it'll depend upon the instrument that we plug into this. Like sometimes we'll want mm -hmm. the MIDI longer uh, to make it feel legato. A lot of VSTs that you're using, uh, mm -hmm. this MIDI just triggers a sound and the sound might go further than the actual note. Uh, so let's uh, do some sound design here. Let's use, I've been using a lot of Arturia synths. I'm still on this uh, Mac Pro late 2013 model. I've been mentioning I've had some computer issues. I'm actually gonna take the system in. I believe I have a power supply that's failing, so hopefully that's all uh, we need to bring the system back to its, uh, its strength. Um, all right, so let's go with, how about like a mini V3. add some bass in there let's use my favorite sub from razor native instruments the sub preset that i love is called punch in the balls <laughs> it's because it's got a strong uh low end feels like you're getting hit um I'm going to take out every note except for the low notes. I'm going to put them in the octave that makes sense. Then I'm going to do some movement, like some eighth notes. What if we just try some steady eighth notes? a la marshmallow, so going to a G sharp. Now this uh, chord was inverted, so if I wanted to, I could go up to a C sharp. We could kind of see how the various versions sound. Same thing with this, this was inverted, so that's technically a D chord. We can come down to D. some drums um let's start with the default let's choose an electronic drum machine let's use 909 Uh, with some effects, but bear with me in the meantime.
automation line, drawing that high shelf EQ. All right, gonna have it really open up here at the end. Cool, then let's write an actual groove in here. Let's make sure our filter is fully open. All right, so 110 uh, that we're at, this works really well for uh, reggaeton type beats. If you have my music theory text always uh, linked below in these videos, I talk about back beats. Back beats are super common. Most standard would be on beat two and four, sound like this. If I take those and I just move them to what would be a reggaeton style back beat, it would have this. All right, and uh, let's go with that reggaeton type feel. Cool, then we could add some accents on the one. All right, let's hear what that sounds like with our uh, leads. Now perhaps we want a keyboard layer in there as well. So let's use the Arturia Piano, Piano V2, V2, but like a Pokemon or something, V2. Um, all right, just use the standard default. Now we could just double up. Let's do like a quarter note 
stab type thing on beat two and four. That would sound like this. Oh, these two were early. Add in our bass line in the left hand. Anytime you're doing a uh, piano or really anything that our ears know as being like a real instrument, we want to do some humanizing or making the MIDI not super perfect. So in Logic, we can do an advanced MIDI function to automatically add some velocity and attack variation there in context. <laughs> final thing I'm going to do in this beat is I'm going to take the low shelf on the sub and I'm going to automate it so that the subs come out right before the drop like this. This is something that's really, really common in lots of like dance music genres. This is going to uh, make it feel like there's a lot more subs after that. So the sub's going to kind of go away here. Back, it'll be way bigger cool uh, so haven't really done anything to make the mix sound good I would do a lot more instruments um, but we created an idea in the key of a major hopefully you uh, were able to follow everything I did there writing a chord progression writing a melody writing a bass line super simple just root note motion there um, with uh, eighth notes and then pretty much doing the same thing, slightly different rhythm with some passing tones in the next part. And our uh, piano, this kind of style is very uh, much in the genre of sort of like reggae music or island music because reggaeton um, has that sort of like origin, that kind of sound in it. That's why that works really well in conjunction with the drums. Um, so let's listen to this from the beginning. Uh, here's what we made from scratch. And actually, for your listening pleasure, I'm going to add just a little bit of compression to the whole mix. Here we go.
So um, for something like that, again, it's really just an idea at this point, a demo, if you will. We could finish it out in the instrumental way. It sounds like it would work for sort of like a theme for a show or some sort of medley. We could also take that main melody off or really back in the mix if we wanted to bring in a vocalist. Um, once again, I haven't done a lot of writing in major keys. Uh, that was just straight up A major. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you find these helpful, you would help me a ton by subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. If you do, I will see you next time. Thank you for hanging out and have a wonderful day. Cheers.